<laughs> I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. I don't. I found out I don't have to lose. God has. You know, I'm winning in Him. You know, He is. You know, the Bible says, "My victory, my faith is my victory." Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Whatever, whoever. Are you born of God? Amen. Then you are a world overcomer. I'm just telling you what the word says. Amen. Now you can go along with what you feel if you want to. I don't recommend it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here we, 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 you know, a long time we talked about, we just, our confession was no higher than our feelings. Oh, how we fail. Dear Lord, don't ever let your confession come down to your feeling. Always, I, my confession is based on what the Bible says. Amen. Whether it's raining, snowing, sleeting, sunshine, doesn't matter. Amen. My confession is based on what the Word says. And then that's just what I have. Because I have what I say, you know. I do. I have what I say. Yeah, and I say what God says. Yeah, and that's, and that's victory. He said, he said, that's victory, son. He said, your faith is your victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God forevermore. Bless the Lord. Bless. Well, you're looking all, you're looking all beautiful. Looking full of, full of life. Full of, full of life. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, let's go, let's just go into the word of God and let's. Let's see what God has to say unto us tonight. I got my ears on. You got your ears on, good buddy? Amen. They used to have those CB things years ago. I don't know if they still have them now. They still, do they still use them? Yeah, yeah, so you got your ears on, good buddy? Yeah, good buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got my ears on. Amen. Cranked up high. Glory to God forevermore. I want to... I want to hear. I want to hear from heaven. Amen. Amen. That's what I want. I want to hear from heaven. I want yes, to. I want to hear from heaven. God said His words that goes out of His mouth would not return unto Him void. Amen. But He said the words that goes out of His mouth, He said they'll produce exactly what He sent them out to do. Amen. Amen. And then you know, the more I see, I look at this thing, it just gets so much easier and easier. And I found out all he wants me to do is believe him. Amen. That's all. Amen. You know, we want to work, you know. <laughs> but he didn't say anything about not working. Amen. He said, the only work he wants for you is to believe on him and whom he sent. That's right. Amen. And I heard him ask Moses. He said, Moses, how long will it be before these people believe me? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I get that. I get that. So all I, all I got to do, all God wants me to do is to believe him. Amen. He has, I mean, dear God, you don't have to work. Amen. He, in fact, he calls it rest. Amen. Yeah. We have entered rest. that rest. Amen. What do you mean into that? Well, he has already done it all. That's right. Jesus, I heard, I heard him say it. Jesus himself said it's finished. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, you know, God can't lie, you know. That's right. I heard him say, it's finished. Amen. It's finished. Yeah. It's finished. Yeah. The whole plan is done. Amen. All we got to do is walk it out. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Glory to God forevermore. Walk it out. Just walk it out. It's finished. It's done. No work. No work. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves. It's a gift. That's right. Not of works. Right. Oh, how often does he say not of works? He has saved us and called us, <clears throat> not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. Yes. Amen. 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 He always saying that. Amen. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, yes. not according to our works. He keeps telling us what you're working, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do. Mm. We feel better if we can do a little something. <laughs> you know, there's nothing for you to do Amen. but to receive what God has already provided for you. Amen. Well, how do I receive it? Believe it. Amen. Amen. Believe what he said. That's right. Praise God. He said the word's established. It'll do exactly what I sent it to do. Amen. The minute you believe it, dear God, it's a done deal. Done deal. 
Well, how do you think you got born again? Amen. You believe the Bible. That's right. Well, you get the rest of it the same way. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be talking about uh, the perfect law of liberty. Amen. The perfect law of liberty. Uh, there's a connection between God's word and the life that you live. Everybody wants to live a good life. I haven't seen anybody yet that didn't want to live good. Everybody wants to live a. Everybody wants to live a good life. And but but and, and but the, the life the, the life that, that that God has given us to live mm-hmm. is here in this book. Amen. The Amen. life that God has made provision for us to walk to live is in this book. Uh, you know, it, it's just He says it, and I, I just keep reading it, and it's it's the truth. Praise you can't. God. You know, He's just looking for nothing else to read. He says, uh, my son, attend to my words. Yes. My son, attend to my words. Yes. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Amen. Come on. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Yes. Well, why? For they are what? Right. See, there it is. Amen. See, there it is what I was, that's all I said to you. There it is. Why are, we tr- why are we hustling and trying to find it somewhere else? Mm-hmm. I heard him over there in Isaiah say, why are you spending money for that which is not bread? Mm-hmm. Why are you wasting your money? Isn't it interesting? God says that. He said, why are you spending money for that? That don't work. It's no good. You just, why spend that money for that, for that which is not good? That which is not bread. That ain't producing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no. He said, my words are what? Life. Oh boy, when we get a hold of that one, when we get a hold of that. You see, God, here's what, here's what we are looking to learn out of these studies that I'm going through right now. God expects us to take what he has said and, 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 and actually bring it up. Oh, he wants to see his word alive in you and I. Amen. He wants to see his word alive in you. See, the word is life. God's word is life. God's word is life. My words are life. And God said, my words are health. I haven't seen anybody trying to get sick. Everybody I've ever seen trying to get well. But the many of them is going in the wrong direction. What is health? My words are health. Are you hearing me? See, you say, Oh, you read that scripture all the time. Well, when you get it, I'll stop reading it. Amen. As soon as you get healed, I guess I'll go to something else. Amen. Come on, you see what you see? Do you see what? Do you see? What, think about it in this light. Come on, look at it. Be, come on, be intelligent. We have one Bible. How long we've we been had it? Ever since. You're not gonna get another one. But that ain't but one book. Well, how many books do you have at home in your library? You got books. <laughs> but God didn't give us a whole library. That's right. He gave us one book. Amen. Amen. He said, read that one. That's right. He said, what do I do when I finish reading? Read it again. Amen. He said, I read it through twice. Well, read it again. Amen. Well, well I, 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 read it again. Amen. You, you, do, are you, do you get the message? Do you, do you get that? Amen. Why don't he give me another one? Everybody, we always want to upgrade on everything. <laughs> but you're not going to upgrade this. It's the same book my grandfather read. Amen. It's the same one my father read. Yeah. It's the same one I'm reading. It's the same one my children are going to read. It's the same one my grandchildren are going to read. It's the same one my great-grandchildren are going to read. It's the same one my great-great-grandchildren are going to read. It's the same one my great-great-great-grandchildren are going to read. It's the same. You're not going to get another one. Amen. Glory. Glory. And I don't care if you live to be 200. You're going to just keep reading the same one over and 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 over again. You're not going to get another one. You're not going to say, well, God, I've been on the earth 100 years. Can you give me another Bible? No. When you find out what's in that one. See, that alone kind of gives me a, wakes me up. Mm-hmm. No, you just keep hearing it. You just keep reading it. Amen. 
Don't you just keep you just keep it. He said, No, attend to my word. Yeah. Attend to my word. Yeah. The same word, 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 the same word. Did, did you know? And watch this. I hear something else I found out while I was reading it. I found out that a great deal of this Bible is repetitious. He said the same thing over and over and over again. Amen. When you go from one book to another, you don't get anything new, hardly. When you go from one chapter to another, you get to read, you read the same thing you read in the last one you just read. Praise God. Uh -huh. Praise God. Come on, go ahead and read them. Go read it. Read it. Read your Bible. You know Amen. what I'm talking about. You won't. Amen. No, 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 no. This is God. <laughs> This is God, this word. God and his word, you can't separate them. Right. You can't separate God from his word. Yeah, and this is life. This word is life. No, there's no life down the university. This is life. This is life. This, my word, look what he said. My words are what? Life. And my words are health. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word. No, we, we, it, it, it's going to dawn on you one of these days. It's going to dawn on you. I remember I was talking to uh, fellowship with my brother this morning. We were talking, and I remember, I remember when I first this, this when I got hold, I got a hold to the, to the life of God. Amen. I hunger, hunger, <laughs> hunger, hunger. Man, dear God, I was everything that looked like they could preach. I was listening to him. Amen. Hunger for God. Hunger for God. Amen. I traveled miles just to hear a man preach the word of God. I did. Yeah, I was hungry. Yes, sir. I, my spirit is wide open to something I never had this before. Amen. I've been eating trash all my life. <laughs> Bless God, I got something good to eat now. Amen. Oh, glory to God forevermore. I was hungry, hungry, hungry. Still is, still am. Still am. Amen. Still am. <clears throat> you know, just pouring this, feeding on this, feeding on this. Feeding on this. See, that's why I'm, that's what it got me the way I am. Amen. You don't get like this overnight, you know. <laughs> but you keep reading. You keep hanging around this book. Yeah. You keep hanging around this book and hang around other people that's reading it. Just hang around this book. Amen. Hang around, keep hanging around this book and then hang around people that's been hanging around this book. Amen. You're going to find that you're going to become something that you never was before. Amen. That's why God's a man being in Christ. He's a. Ooh. Oh my 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 my. <laughs> Yeah, you something you never was before. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes, and I'm sure you've done the same thing. You know, you look back sometime, you look back before you got a hold of this, and you see how stupid you was. I used to do some stupid stuff. Oh, I get mad at me, boy. I get mad, but you know, there ain't nothing, you, the only thing you can do about yesterday is forget it. That's right, that's it. Amen. If I could do something about it, I'd go back and change some of that stuff. Dear Lord, I'd go back and change some of that. I'd, that's, if, I, if, if I could, I'd go back and change some of that stuff. Woo! Glory. Would I change some of that? Amen. But you can't do nothing for yesterday by yesterday. That's right. The only thing you can do by yesterday is forget it. That's right. And that's exactly what the Bible says. That's what God said to do. God don't tell you to do anything about yesterday. You know, we walk, we walk around and mope about yesterday, but God, didn't, God never told you to do anything about yesterday. In fact, the only thing he told you to do about yesterday is forget it. Forgetting those things without behind and reaching forth in those things without before. Yeah. You can't do one thing about yesterday, right. but forget it. Amen. Forget it. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Oh, it, oh it's bad, but don't worry about it. Come on, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't duplicate it today. Amen. Just, just don't you duplicate yesterday today. <laughs> Amen. 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 But what, how, how does this happen? How does this happen? It's the word that Amen. does it. The word, this word, this word, this, this God word. And I'm talking about, here's what God wants us to do. He wants us to go beyond religion and its thinking, their religious thinking. And he wants us to connect and allow his word to transform us. Yeah. He calls his word the perfect law of liberty. He doesn't Amen. stutter about that. Amen. My word, this is the perfect law of liberty. Amen. This will totally liberate you, elevate you to where you are supposed to be. Amen. Where I created you to be. 
bring you back up into my class, the God class. God created you in the God class. God didn't create you to be sucking your thumb and hustling. Oh, no. Oh, the devil did that to you. The devil did that to you. The devil got you down and, and can barely get along. He, the devil did that to you. No, 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 no. God did, not, God did not design you like that. God designed you with more than enough. Praise God. God designed you. Don't, you don't even know. God knows nothing about, God knows nothing about poverty. That's right. Lack. Yeah. What? That's foreign to him. Mm -hmm. oh, how did I get like that? The devil did that to me. But thank God he has liberated me from the devil. Who I'm glad about. See, that's what I shout about. That's my, I, I've been liberated. I've been liberated. He calls it the perfect law of liberty. I can't tell you, we, we just finished reading, up, reading over in, uh, in, uh, in Re Revelation. Go over there and read in Revelation. You'll get happy. You get happy reading Revelation. Amen. Some people don't like it. I don't know why. Well, well listen, if you're on the other side, I wouldn't be scared if I was on the other side. <laughs> but I'm not on the other side. I'm on the right side. So I like Revelation. But I get to reading that, and I get to reading it, and I see, dear God, whoo, where we, the final quest after all the trash been thrown in and incinerated, burn up. Then it's just be us and God. God and his kids. Who? No devils, ain't a devil, ain't a devil to be seen. Oh, just God and his kids. Amen. I tell you what, my, your head can't even handle it. I, 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 I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. No wonder he says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Yes. Haven't even entered into the hearts of the things that I have prepared for those that love me. Amen. Oh, man, think about that. It's all in there. It's in the book. It's in the book. Read the back of the book. Read the back of the book. Read the back. Ain't no, no trash. But, 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 but here's what I want us to understand. You have already been brought in the, back into the family. Amen. And there's no need for you to be still down there sucking your thumb and, and hitchhiking and hoboing. <laughs> well, I don't need a no need for you being brought back into the family. But dear God, we're just hoboing and hitchhiking just like dear God, just like we haven't been rescued. Mm. You've been rescued. Amen. God has liberated you. He calls it the perfect law of liberty. Praise God. The perfect law of liberty. But he, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a choice, it's a choice, yes, it's a choice. Amen. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes. Why wouldn't you want to be liberated? And you're not going to get liberated any other way except through the perfect law of liberty. But the one that does it, listen to Father, listen to Father. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and do what? Amen. Continue. Amen. Keep on reading it over Amen. and over. over. Where am I? Where I want to get another? Where I want, how many Bibles have you wore out? Well, get another. Where I just want to get another. Mine, mine getting old now. I, I, need to, I, don't want, I hate to get, well, you know, when I get a time I get another one, I got to re, remark it up. <laughs> you know? But I'll but I get another one. I'll get another one. Oh, that, that other one this, this one getting old. <laughs> some, of the, some of the words, you, can, you can't even hardly see them. <laughs> but get, I'm going to get another one. Amen. Amen. You follow me? Amen. Because he said, I have to continue. Amen. If I want to be liberated, yeah. I have to continue. Say, come on, folks. Now, here's where the rubber meets the road. God is, he doesn't, see, oh, boy, the devil messed people up so bad, messes up so bad. He took, the, God, the devil took, and made, took us and made, made religion out of God's word. Mm -hmm. and, and what we do, we got, we got all the religious institutions, and we call it religion. And then and we got our religious, and we go through motions and stuff, and, and, but ain't nobody living nothing. Come on. You're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not liberated. You're going through motions, you know, intellectual exchange. That's all, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of that going on. 
You know, everybody want to be a big shot. <laughs> Isn't that something? They want to get on the knees. <laughs> and thinking that you can't go in there and say, say, everybody on the face. They look at you. What are you talking about on your face? <laughs> I don't want to go to no church like that. I really don't. Uh-huh. And everybody's so stiff. And they ain't because they're old either. <laughs> they're just stiff. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> stiff. No, no, no. I've been liberated. Yes, yes. No, you got to see the devil. See, the devil, what the devil does, he does people like that and then tell them, you all right. You don't, it all that ain't necessary. Mm-hmm. All that, all that ain't all necessary. You all right. You all right. See, and they just, and they, they can't even sleep at night. Mm. Dear Lord. Mean, mad, frustrated. Can't get along with nobody. No, no, you got to get liberated. Get deli- when you get liberated, boy, you, you're good to go. Amen. No, Amen. the perfect law of liberty will liberate you. Look at what it says. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and do what? Continue. continue. It's a continuum. No, so what you said, well, how long? Well, well, well <laughs> if you're asking how long, you, you ain't been long enough. I can assure you. Somebody, I heard one fellow say, somebody asked him, how long the curse lasts? I said, let it long, you let it last. <laughs> no, you got to continue in this. Yes, sir. Continue. Now, now what, let, let me ask you something. Do you believe God? Yes, of course you say you do. Amen. What, what? Do, oh, boy. It's so easy. You almost need help to miss this. <laughs> if you want life, you, you give yourself to this book mm-hmm. and don't come up for air. Amen. You stay there Praise until God. you believe what God is saying. Amen. Because, see, oh, you've got to stay with. That's why he said continue. That word continue means that's what it means, nonstop. It's a way of life. A way of life. There's no retiring. There's no finishing. There's no downgrading. There's no no quit. None of that. It's a it's an ongoing. It's from you don't quit. Amen. You look into this perfect law and you continue in it. Now, as you continue in it, <clears throat> you got to remember what you hear. Because yeah. I'm looking in this book of law, and I'm continuing in it, and I'm remembering what I hear. I got to, I got to hear, what, I got to remember what I hear. Now, now I'm going to talk about the process. I'm going to talk about how this thing works. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Not being a forgetful hearer. But a doer of the work, when you do that, when you look into this book and continue therein, and then you actually you, you do what you hear. Amen. You actually do what you hear. Now, what's going to happen then? This one will be blessed in what he does. Which, uh, everything he does, whatever he does, and whatever he does. Do you see what God said? He just told you how to be totally successful, victorious in every area of life. That's right there. You're looking into this perfect law of liberty. You're looking into this perfect law of liberty. It's the perfect law of liberty. Now, here's, here's what's happened. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing. Your spirit has far more knowledge, knows far more than your head. Far more. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. God ministers life to you through your spirit. 
It comes from spirit then to your head. See, you, 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 feed, you feed this word into your heart by hearing. Amen. The hearing of the word of God. The reading of the word of God. The hearing of the word of God. It goes inside of you and it gets down into your spirit. That's when you become persuaded that what God has said, it is true. If you read the Bible and don't believe it, then it's not in there yet. That's why you have to continue. If you are still failing, it didn't, it's not, it didn't happen yet. If you're still sucking your thumb, you didn't, it didn't happen yet. No, it didn't happen yet. Now, don't be, don't, don't, that's, now here's, a, here's a question that many people ask, how long? <laughs> Bad question. No, don't ask that one. I wouldn't worry about it. You, you didn't do it long enough. No, don't worry about it. If you got to say how long, don't worry about it. You didn't do it long enough, I can assure you. Yeah. You didn't do it long enough because... Because now if, if you did it long enough and you're still sucking your thumb, what you're saying is God is not faithful. Yeah. Now you know you're in trouble. Say that. <laughs> now I'm trying, to sh I'm trying to show you the simplicity of this. You just, number one, you, you don't worry about it. Amen. Don't worry about it. Amen. You, you've got to become tunnel visioned. When you become tunnel vision, when you, when you sell out to God and give yourself to God, that's a way of life. I don't care. It doesn't matter how long it may take. I'm going to be doing the same thing the next, as long as I'm on this planet. So it doesn't, doesn't need to ask how long. No, no, I, I, because whatever I'm hearing is going to be ministered unto me. I'm going to get it, uh -huh. and, it's, and it's going to be a continuous thing. I'm okay, okay. Where were you, and where are you? Uh -huh. How did you get from where you were to where you are? When you got from where you were to where you are, the power of this word. Amen. Amen. Well, then he's asking how long in the... No, it doesn't... I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Amen. And I'm going to be moving, rising higher and higher. Yes. It's, going to, it's ongoing. Amen. I, I, could, I, could, I could testify to you right now, and you probably think I'm pulling your, chain, pulling your, pulling your leg. I'm telling you, from where God brought me from to where I am, you think, whoa. Man. Because, see, I know where I was. I know where I started from. And ain't no way I could get from where I was to where I am. I, I, ain't, there's, not, there's, not, there's not enough resources on this planet to do that. God did that. How did it happen? Through the word. Sit, watch this. Let me ask you something. Do you like the life that you're living? No, not really. It's a good question. See, because the life that you are presently living is the life that the Word of God produced in you. Watch this. If you are not satisfied, if you are not where you think you should be, then obviously you didn't attend to the word like you should have. Because there's no such thing as attending to this word and not being, not elevating, not being elevated. Now you can have some religion and not go anywhere. But not the word. 
Because God said, if you look into this perfect law of liberty and continue therein, not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You hear me? Amen. And so you, 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 you do your own self-evaluations. <laughs> you know where you are. I don't know where you are. Don't tell me. That's all I can do to keep up with me. But you know where you are right now. And the only way you're going to go any further than where you are right now is going to be by way of this book. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, people, I, I, that's, that is, that's, that's it. If, if you, if you go any higher than where you are, it's going to be by way of attending to this book. Amen. It's going to be by way of looking into the perfect law of liberty. It's this law of liberty that's going to elevate you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get another job and ele get elevated. You're not going to get a promotion. A promotion is not going to do it for you. You didn't have promotion. They didn't have nothing to do with the amount of money. And most people, they got making plenty of money. They just, they just ain't doing nothing with it. Don't know what to do with it because they you know, did not listen. Yeah, I know people making plenty of money and sucking their thumb. I'm telling you, I know. You, you probably know some too. Hey, they didn't get to do with the money. See, we, we, we th see, God, God never said, this job is life and health to you. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. We think so. My word is life. My word is health. And that's the only, that's the only way you're going to get it. That's the only way you're going to get it. You're not going to make God out of a liar. You're not going to, you, you're not going to go get life from somewhere else when God says you're going to get it from my word. It's not coming anyway. That's right. Yeah. And it, but but that, that, that's, that, that, that's it. So it's a matter of, you say, you look into this perfect law, and you look into it, and you continue yeah. in it day and night. You continue in it. You continue in it. You continue in it. And be not a forgetful here, but a doer of the work. Yeah. This one will be blessed in what he does. Blessed. Now, Back up to the 22nd verse of James 1. He says, he says, he said, he said, but be doers of the word. Now, I want to show you an illustration of well, what do you mean doing the word? You know, I've told people to do the word and they didn't know what I was talking about. Do it. What? What do you mean doing the word? Well, God is the one. It's God's idea. God said, do the word. That's what God said. I, I, that's what I, he said, you do. You do the word. You do the word. And, and that could be foreign. That could be foreign. You say, what do you mean do the word? I'm going to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to do a step-by-step. -step. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's easy. It's easy. Now, now look at what he says here. He said, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continue in it and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer. You got to do what the word says. You got to do what the word says do. You got to do the work of the word. You got to do. You got to do what the word says. Okay, let's take. Let's 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 let's. Okay, let's go to Romans. Go to chapter. Go to go to Romans. Romans ten. Romans chapter ten. Good good text. Acts, Romans. Now we're talking about we're talking about doing the word, right? We're doing, doing it. Now let's let's go here and ask Romans. Let's 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 look at verse nine, uh, Romans ten nine. I'm going to read that. But if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you sh you will be saved. Now, now you, the question was, well, how do I do the word? Wh what did that word just say? If you will do what? 
with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. But you say, well, I don't know what doing, but I tell you what, if you read that and don't do nothing, ain't nothing going to happen to you. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. Amen. Nothing is going to happen. But if you take the principle that James outlined there in the 25th verse of the first chapter, and you apply that mm. to this scripture, and no doubt all of you have done that, when you actually do what that verse says when you acknowledge and call Jesus your Lord and say I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. When you, when you do that then now you did not born you again. You just did what God said do. And guess what? He took it from there. People, that's the way, that's what doing the word is. That's what doing the word is. When you actually do what he says, you do, he, he said, if you confess with your mouth of the Lord and you believe in your heart, you say, yourself, well, I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that he rose from the dead. And I acknowledge him as my Lord. That was, the, that was all you could do. When you finished saying it, you were just as mean as you were before you said it. <laughs> you did not change you. But what happened when you did the word? God went inside of you and transformed you. People, the whole Bible works the same way. If you sick, the, the Bible will walk. You can walk out of there and be totally healed, be totally healed, just like, just like, just the same way you got born again. You got to do what it says. You got to do what it says. You got to believe what it says. Because if you don't believe it, you're not going to mention it, you're not going to do it. If you confess with your mouth, well, you did it, and you got born again. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. You believe that? Amen. Well, then do it. You, 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 do, do you see how simple this is? Praise God. Now, at the, the whole Bible works this way. All of it works this way. It that's why he said, you look into this perfect law of liberty and continue in it. Why do we spend time worrying about stuff and trying to make ends meet and trying to do stuff? Why do you do that? Well, That's an easier way. Well. How about doing it the God way? Amen. He, said, oh, he, said, he said, honor me with the, with the first fruit of all your labor. Honor me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, doing it. This is what doing the word is. Watch this. Watch this. Doing. Doing the word. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. He said, he said, you do that. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen. In all your ways do what? Acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. Yeah. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Don't do that. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your, health to your flesh. Amen. See what I mean? And strength to your bones. Now, now look, at the, look at the ninth verse. See the ninth verse? Honor the Lord with your possessions. Mm. How do you do that? You do it. You honor yeah. God. No, you know, you, you, <laughs> whose stuff is that? Thank you, Lord. It's God gave you that stuff. Amen. You honored him with it. You ain't bragging about what you did. Amen. You honor the Lord with your stuff, with your possessions. You know, you know, see the flesh want to take 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 want to take you know, want to take pride, take take the glory for everything. 
I'm telling you, if your flesh is no good, I'm telling you that right now. It'll rob you. It'll keep you, it'll keep you defeated. Your flesh will keep you defeated. Your flesh will keep you defeated. Honor the Lord with your possession and with the first fruit of all your increase. That's pretty good money, isn't it? Amen. Well, so shall your bond be filled with planet. Now, do you think your bond is going to be filled with planet without you doing this? No. See, to do, you got to do it. When you do that, see, see, stop hustling. Stop hustling and trying to make ends meet. Just go to the word and do what the word says. He said, he said, if you honor me with the first fruit of all your increase, then your bonds will be, well, you don't have no bonds. You should have a bank account. I don't have no bond, <laughs> but I sure got a bank account. <laughs> and then wouldn't it be like, be like for this fool? You, you, see, but watch this. Don't, don't believe it. Don't believe it. They don't believe it. They don't believe it. You ain't getting my money. See what I mean? <laughs> do, do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see why people, do you know how many people is bound by their own bondage instead of looking into this perfect law of liberty and letting God liberate you? See, don't you think God's going to, don't you believe God will liberate you? If you honor him with the first fruits of all your increase, he said that your bond will be filled with plenty. Yes, he did. Your bank account will not be overthrown. Right. And you'll have, you'll have some money every time you want some money. Thank you, Lord. Do you believe that? Well, no. Amen. Amen. I don't know how, I know you don't know, you don't have to know how he's going to do it. He didn't, that's none of your business. That's right. How he's going, how is he going to keep money in your bank account? That's none of your business. Amen. Amen. None of your business. That's right. Amen. But see, you're, you go, rather go get another job. <laughs> and then you're dog tired and still ain't helping enough. You see what I mean? Trying to do it the flesh way. Yeah. People, this, I know this works. I know it works. I know it works. I know it. I'm a testimony. Amen. I'm a testimony. I'm telling you. See, it, you say, well, I don't understand. See, if you, <laughs> all, I can, all I can tell you, you got to believe this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is the perfect law of liberty. Amen. If you look into it and start doing what it says, he's the one saying you'll be blessed in what you, you'll be blessed. In which you, you'll be blessed in everything. You'll be blessed in what you do. Don't you want to be blessed in what you do? Amen. Well, I'm just showing you right here. This is just one spot. This is just one little spot here. He said, you, he said, he said, he said, honor me. He said, honor me with the first fruits. Now that's honoring. Yeah. Now he just said, he just said, tight wadding and nah. No. Cheerful. I want to do that. In fact, you ain't going to keep me from doing this. You ain't, ain't going to keep me from doing this. I might preach, not, do, not do some other thing, but I'm going to honor God with, my, with the first. I'm going to honor him with it. I do it gladly. I want, in fact, I'm, I want to do it. I want to do it. I, I really want to. I want to. See, come on. I want to. Do you see what we're talking about? See, that's what he says. You do this, no, 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 not, not of necessity, no, not grudgingly, no, I don't want that. I want you to want to do this. Praise God. I want you to want to. I want to honor, you, you, know, I mean, you, know, what, you know what it is to honor someone? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Honor him. See, 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 God has made this a living way now. Yes. See, before, when it, was, when it was a working way, you know what I mean, they, they had come in at all them cows and, and goats and calves, and, and they were just trying to honor God with all that blood and mess, and, and, and they were just all, they were just, you know, they were doing all the new, doing what they knew, but now God come into the new and living way mm-hmm. and introduced the perfect law of liberty. Amen. That's what the new covenant is called, the perfect law of liberty. He said, I don't want no, I don't want bulls and cats. I don't want to come in here, but don't come in here killing cows. 
honor me. He wants to be honored. Amen. And you come in and you honor him Amen. with the first fruits. Thank you, Jesus. And now, oh God, your bond's going to be full. Yes. Thank you, Lord. See, I'm telling you, see, I'm telling you, I, I see some people is not doing this. I'm telling you. I know I can see how they're still hustling. Because there's no such thing as honoring God and keep sucking your thumb. God's going to load you down. I know he will. If you'll honor him. See, it's, it's, you gotta, he said, I'm just reading it. I'm just telling you how to do it. He said, do the word. Didn't he say do it? Yeah. I'm showing you how to do it. He said, but be doers of the word, not hearers only. Yeah. Be doers. And this, this, see, this is step by step doing it. He said, oh, I've been reading that. I don't know if you haven't done it. You don't, now you see why he said continue. You're not going to get another Bible. And sometimes, see, we get locked into our traditional thinking. Here's another thing that messes us up. We get locked into our own traditional thinking and become closed-minded, and you can't learn anything else. And you, you, and you happen to be in a, in a state of defeat, and you just stay defeated all the time because you won't open up and let God teach you. You've got to open, you open your spirit. And let God teach you. And, and, and come to a point and understand you don't know nothing. Well, amen. And let God teach you. Amen. See, don't, don't, don't become stubborn in your heart and think, I know what I'm doing. Okay, go ahead. My bill paid. Amen. No, come on. It, don't, don't, don't you see what God wants to do for us? Don't, don't you see what he wants to do? But he can't, he, he has, to, you have to allow him to liberate you. That's what the perfect law of liberty does. It liberates you. Don't become so stubborn in your mind, in your own religious thinking, and not move and not let God increase you. Amen. God wants to increase you. But he got to shake you loose. Mm. And allow him to do so. He wants to be honored. He wants you to honor him. Yes. Doing it. All right. Let's, let's leave that one alone. Let's move over here to another spot. Praise God. Move over to Ephesians. Praise God. Praise God. Move over to Ephesians. We talk, what went on? We're talking about doing what you want to know how to do it. Amen. You're talking about do the word, do the What do you mean do the word? I'm showing you how to do it. I'm showing you how to do it. I'm showing you how to do it. <laughs> see, 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 I'm telling you, the devil will sidetrack you any moment, anywhere. That's right. That's right. He'll have you hung on a snag, mm -hmm. and you won't be going, in, you won't go anywhere because you're hung up. Right. You got to get free. That, why do you think he called it the perfect law of liberty? Because mm. he wants you to be free. free. Yes, sir. He wants you to be the way that he created you to be. Yeah. God don't want you pitching pennies and counting dimes. Come on, Come on. He wants you to be free. Yeah. Amen. Amen. To love people. Free to do what you want to do. Free to fulfill the calling that he placed yeah. on your life. Yeah. Yeah. And he wants you to want to do it. Yeah. I want to do it. Mm -hmm. do, do you see what we're talking about here? Don't ever think you know so much that I, well, I already know that. No, you, you're in trouble when you do like that. Don't get like that. Don't, don't let the devil do that to you. Amen. You need to listen to the Spirit of God. You don't know enough. You do not know enough. Amen. Amen. I go to this book all the time, and every time God will see or say something to me, and I'm like, wow. I be like, I guess he get out and say, he always say, wow. He always say, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow. 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 But that's the way it is. It's, he just keep unveiling. Amen. He keep unveiling himself to you. Yes, he keep unveiling himself to you. Amen. Don't become a religious dwarf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't, don't let the devil do that to you. There, there are people. There are people that come to this church. They just, they just, they go, they go nowhere. They just, they just froze. Mm. Wow. Mm. They're religious dwarfs. They're not moving. You ought, to be, you ought to be growing. You ought to be expanding. Yes, Amen. But, but, but God can't do it if you don't let him do it. This is the perfect 
law of liberty. There isn't another one. Amen. This, if you don't get liberated here, forget it. If, God, if you don't get liberated in here, you are going to get it. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect law of liberty. Yeah. Amen. There is no knowledge in this planet that can liberate you. That's right. Everybody, people think so. That's why they don't have time for God's word. Because they're trying to get liberated somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. You're not going to get liberated anywhere but from this book. Amen. This is the law. This is the perfect law of liberty. And you're going to either get liberated here or you're not going to get liberated. Amen. You'll Amen. die in bondage. Amen. But I'm telling you, ha, God will set you free. Amen. When the sun sets you free, you're free. You're free. Ephesians. What do we talk? We wonder, how do you do the word? Okay, Ephesians 4. You got that there yet? Ephesians 4. Look at 32. And be kind to one another. No, 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 you have to do that. No, 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 no. No, you got to do it. You got to do that. You have to do that. You have to, no, no, no. You don't run from one another. You don't cross the street from one another. You don't bear around one another. You don't act like you didn't see one another. You be kind. Amen. Amen. Now, come on. You know, you know you. You know you. I don't know you. I, you, I don't know you. You know you. Amen. You know if you, you, do you know, you, do you know if there are people that you try to evade? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. No, I'm just, no, 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 you know, I'm, just, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell, okay, I'm telling you. You know. And as long as you are evading them, you're not going to get free. That's right. You know. You're not going to be free. You're not going to be free. You can't, you can't be, you can't be liberated. And it's going to clog you, it's going to clog you up. Kind of like you need to blow your nose, but you can't blow it. No, I'm just giving it to you. God the one said do it. He said do the word. He don't want to say do the word. He said do the word. I'm just showing it to you. I got to do it too. You think I? You think I? You think I exempt? You think I'm exempt? No, I have to do it. I have to do it first. I cannot evade anybody. I cannot. I cannot do that. I can't. I can't do it. I found it out, so I don't even try. Amen. 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 I'm going to be kind to you, Amen. just like the book says. Because, right. see, I got to do this. This is the perfect law of liberty. Well, look at what he said. And be kind to one another. Amen. Tenderhearted. Wow. Isn't that cute? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Tenderhearted. You know, when you, you know, you don't just, you don't just greet them, but you greet them with a smile. <laughs> Amen. Yes, Tenderhearted. Yes. Tender. I didn't write this book. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> trying to do it. God, this is God's idea yeah. of doing the word. Amen. He is teaching us. See, see, we were okay until that devil got a hold to us. And that devil got a hold of us. God came and redeemed us and brought us back home and said, now go back and come in here and learn some manners. Mm. This is the way we do it in the house. Amen. And if you don't come in here and do it the way we do it, you're not going to stay in this house. Come on. Come on. You're going to be kind to one another. You're going to be tenderhearted toward one another. See, I remember I grew up in a, I grew up in a house with, it was 10, ten siblings. Amen. Fighting was a no-no. If you wanted to get a guaranteed spanking, you'd fight one of your siblings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you was going to get it. You was going to get it. Yeah. There was no, no, no. Fighting was not, it wasn't an option. You didn't fight. But, you know, I know because I got one. Amen. I, I, I made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I made, I made the mistake. You, you follow what I'm saying? This is, this is God's. God said, God said, you be kind to one another, and you say you be tenderhearted. Yeah. 
yeah. toward one another. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Heaven. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. You, you, if you, now, you, you, can, you can do one or two things when you hear what God says. You can harden your heart mm. and stay the way you are, mm. or, you, it, it, or you can be tenderhearted and grow. Amen. Now, so, now, God's not upset with you. When you hear God's instruction, you can harden your heart. People do it all the time. You can harden your heart and don't receive what he says, and you won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. you just be walking like a frog all your life. <laughs> I'm telling you. Or you can, I mean, it, to me it make, would make more sense to, you follow me? To me. Don't harden your heart. Do you remember what he said? You know, don't harden, don't harden your heart, as in the provocation. They are provoking. Remember when they, Israel provoked God? You know, they, they, he said, don't, don't harden your heart. Don't, don't harden up. Don't harden up. No. Yield to, yes, yes. But see, now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Don't let, you, you see, you, the, the, what happens with people, and I know what happens with people, but you, you think, oh, I can't do that. Everybody knows that. God knows you can but here's what he wants you to do. He wants you to trust him, him Amen. to do it yes. through you. Yes. Remember I just read, lean not to your own yes. understanding. Yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yes. Don't lean to your own understanding. No, you can't do it. But when you will surrender to him mm -hmm. and trust him. Now, watch this. <laughs> God taught me this long time ago. He said, listen, and, and, and people, listen, people are in this boat, I'm telling you. I know people are in this boat. They, they got people they don't like, and they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't go near them. I know that. People right in this church do. You think I just got out of the turnip truck? No. Listen, 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 watch this. Watch this. I'm telling you how to do it. No, you, you can't. You know, particularly when, you, particularly when you've had some kind of bad whatever in the past, I don't know what it is, whatever it was. You can't do it, but here's what you got to do. When you get on your face before God, mm -hmm. you tell him, and, and, and you call that person's name. No, don't, don't say you know who. <laughs> no, that won't work. He's not going he to... No, <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. No, 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 that, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's not going to work. Now that you know who I'm talking about, it's not going to work. You call their name. Her name is Josephine. Jesus, Josephine seemed to get on my nerves. But I have to, I love Josephine. Yes, sir. I forgive Josephine. Yes. I'm going to be tenderhearted toward yes. Josephine. Yes. If you can talk to Jesus like that, when you meet Josephine, you'll be able to speak to Josephine. Yes. Amen. But if you can't talk that way to Jesus, then you're not going to speak to Josephine either. That's right. No, I'm telling you, I'm, people, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the way it's done. I'm teaching you how to do the word. Because I've, I've said to people to do the word, and they don't know what you're talking about. Do the, what do you mean do the word? I'm showing you how to do. Because God is the one who said be doers of the word. I, this, not, this is not my idea. This is his idea. He said you do what I, you know, you do this word. If you want to be blessed, if you want to be elevated, if you want to grow, if you want to excel, then you do my word. Amen. That's when you will be blessed in what you do, when you do this word. And you continue, you keep looking into this perfect law of liberty and you continue in, not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer. You got to actually do it. You're not going to evade. You're not going to have certain, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to get away with it. Amen. I'm telling you that right now, that you're not going to get away with anything. Amen. I'm being honest with you. Amen. Nothing. You're getting away with nothing. Amen. But when you're open and naked, yeah. Here's, a, here's the way I pray from, here's the way I pray sometimes. I can share this with you. Here, here's the way I pray sometimes. And, and I'll tell God, you know, I say, you know, God, I just want to do what's right. I, I, I want to do what's right. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, you, your prayer time, your prayer time with Jesus, you talk about these things. 
And there, there may be areas in your life where you're having issues. Talk about them with Jesus. Yes. He's not going to tell anybody else. If you can talk about it with him, he'll fix it. But if you keep that thing there, you're not going to grow. And you're going to keep sucking your thumb and walking like a frog, I'm telling you. You've got to be, if you're going to be liberated, that's what, that's, what, that's what this is. That's why it's called the perfect law of liberty. You become liberated from the bondages of darkness. That's why it's called the perfect law of liberty. God will liberate you and set you free and you can be free to live and to love. Yeah. But you got to meet you. That person that you meet, see in that mirror in the morning, that is your worst enemy. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. That individual that pops up in that mirror every morning, you walk in that bathroom, that's your problem. If you can straighten that guy up, that one that you see that pops up in every time. I, remember, I see him every morning. As soon as I walk in the mirror, there he is. If I can get him straight, I won't have no problem with nobody else. Amen. Because see other, see, other people is not your business anyway. Amen. Other people is none of your business. No. It's that, that whoever pops up in that mirror, that's, that's, that's who your business is. And that's, what, and that's the one you're going to you're gonna have to straighten out. Quit trying to straighten out other people. Dear Lord, wasting time. And you want to straighten them out before you like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know the deal. I listen, I know that I done ran the gamut. You want them to get straight. Oh, no, it's not, I don't have no scripture for that. No, no, no. no I'm going to read it to you raw. <laughs> and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving. Oh, yes. Got to do that too. Yes. But you don't know what it did. I really don't care. Forgiving one another. Watch this. Watch this. Here's what's going to hit home. Even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Yeah. Now, do you want to enjoy the forgiveness that God has forgiven you? Amen. Well, then you're going to have to forgive. You see what I'm, you see what you see how tight this is? There's no, there's no loopholes here. You, you, I'm telling you, you got you to gotta choose that. And, and there's no such thing as just pushing certain scriptures off to the side and go on with God. No. I tell you, most of them are saying the same thing. A great deal of them are saying the same thing anyway, just repetitious. If you, if you push this one aside, you're going to run into it somewhere else. I tell you that, I can assure you of that. If you, if you push Ephesians 4 and 32 to the side, I bet you're going to run into it somewhere else. You can't even read John 13, 34. Bam, hit it again. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? You, you, you don't know. So don't so stop pushing scriptures aside and, and reading through them real fast. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to read that one, boy. You don't want to read that one. Just keep reading. You're going to see it somewhere else. Do you see what we're talking about? But when you become liberated, I don't, I don't want to be at odds with anybody. I really don't. Amen. I want to do the will of God. That's what I want to do. Yeah. And you talk to him about it. See, see, here's the thing. You get this way when you begin to inter interact with Jesus that way. Yeah. See, when I, I wasn't always like the way, the way that I am. I had some issues. But when I, I come to a point of start, you know, airing my issues in my prayers, yes, sir. airing them, mm -hmm. telling him, I, I, wanna, you know, I don't want to do that. I, want, I don't want that. I, I want to do what's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. my, heart is, my heart is right. I want to do what's right. Amen. And then he just changed me. He changed me. Yes, I, I've shared this with you, and it's, it's the truth. I love people more today than I have ever in my life. Well, I, how did I get that way? God got me that. I, I got it from him. I got it from him. And I began, began, he began to show me, tell me how, show me what he had done for me. Yeah. Well, come on. If I can do this for you, you think you're better than anybody else? 
Why can't you do it for somebody else? Because my thing was, you know, man, you got, but look at what they're doing. What were you doing? Amen. Straight, he straightened me really out. He really straightened my hair. I'm telling you. But, 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 but that's what he'll do for you. He'll snatch the slack out of you. You need the slack. Some of us need the slack snatched out of us. Yeah. And he'll snatch the slack out of you. Yeah. But you, but when you, but when you, but he, it's you got to be your will. See, if you, if you want, but if you maintain, if you maintain your heart hardness, he'll let you be that way. But the life that you live, it'll be just that way. It'll be a life of a hard heart. I'm telling you. But if you want to be tender hearted, if you want to be, live a tender life, a loving life, a peaceful life, then you're going to have to shed, you're going to have to minister the same thing. You're going to have to be tender hearted. If you want people to be tender hearted to you, you got to be tender hearted to them. Amen. And you can't be tender hearted to some and not tender hearted to all of them. You got to be all of them. Amen. Whew, boy. Doing the word. Doing it. See, you thought you had read that scripture, didn't you? Tenderhearted, kind, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven. See how it comes home to you? The chickens come home to roost. He is kind. God. Everybody wants God to be tenderhearted toward them. Everybody wants to enjoy God's forgiveness. Well, then, bless God, you can't be packing a grudge. You can't be, you can't pack a grudge and receive tender heartedness no. from God. You can't do that. Yes, can't do it. It won't, won't work that way. You got to do this to God. But, it, but that's okay. Now listen, it's not hard. I'm not going to tell you it's hard because it's not hard. It's only hard when you are stubborn and selfish. Yes. And you just don't want to, you just want to have your way. And you know what? God will let you have your way. And he said, just stay right over there and have it. I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> he will let you have it too. But when you just come to a point that, I, listen, I just want to do what's right. I want, to, I, want God to, I want to grow. I want God to increase me. I want to be blessed in what I do. And that's exactly what he said. He said, listen, listen, let me, let's read it and we'll shut it down. But, be, but, 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 be, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein. He is not a forgetful hero, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. You want to be blessed in what you do? Amen. You want to be on top and not the bottom? You want to be the head and not the tail? You want to be an overcomer? Not, 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 the, not the overcome, but the overcomer? But that's the way you'll be. See, the power, <clears throat> you're not going to do this. The power is in the word. That's going to be transforming you. It's going to be supernatural. I know where I am. I know. I know. I got supernatural to put me where I am. Uh, dear God, I, I know that. I know, no, I know that. It's the power of God's word that's working in you, causing you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Go ahead and stand to your feet. We, we out of time, but that's all right. We're going to keep doing the word. We're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it. Look into this perfect law of liberty. Continue in it. Continue in it. Yes. You're not, don't worry about another Bible. Just keep, that, just keep reading that one. Keep hearing. And see, as, as you keep doing that, God's just going to continue to expand and open up your understanding. Amen. And when you hear it, do it. Amen. With, a de, with a desire. See, the desire should be in your heart yes. to do what God says. Praise don't God. look at the word and say, hmm. Don't do it like that. Amen. You look at it with a desire. I know it's tough, but ah, but I want to do it, God. Amen. You know, let him know. I, I want to do what you say. I, I want to do what you says. Amen. And then, then he will work it yes. in you. Amen. And you will excel and be all he's called you to be. Father, Amen. I thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. I honor you. Amen. And I praise you. You are so wonderful. Yes. God, your word. Yes. 